Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Dr. Ahmed. First, today we're going to answer question number seven, May June 2017, paper two, three. This is a multiple choice question from, uh, talks about moment about uh, uh, from Cambridge. The diagram shows a man holding a sack and a barrel stationary, okay? She apply, he applies a vertical force on the handle. Okay, so we have a vertical force act in this direction. This is F of the man, okay? The center of the mass and the weight of the sack and the bow, okay, are shown, okay? So this is what we have, and this is the center of it, acts downwards, and it's 200 Newton. The wheel acts as a pivot. So this is the pivot that we have it here, okay? What is the magnitude of the vertical force exerted by the man. Now we know that moment clockwise is supposed to be equal moment anticlockwise since it is stationary. And if we look here back to the direction of the forces, now it's very important to realize that when we talk about moment, we are talking about force multiplied by perpendicular distance. When we talk about perpendicular distance, that means we are talking about the line of action of the force with the distance to the pivot. This is the perpendicular distance, 90 degrees. Okay, the same thing here. When we talk about the weight, of the sack and the bow, okay, it acts downwards in this direction, 200 Newton, and this is the distance to it, okay, which is the 15 centimeter. It doesn't matter how long is this distance, 20 centimeter, unless we have the angle, and this is for A11 question. So, and it doesn't matter how height is the uh, force of the handle, which is the 80 centimeter. These are neg negligible. We are not going to look to these force uh, distances, okay? So we are going to look about these distances, the 15 centimeter and the 45 centimeter. So the moment clockwise is the moment caused by whom? The moment caused by the uh, the center of the mass of the sack and the barrel, they act a clock, okay? Act clockwise about the pivot, okay? Which is the wheel. And the force of the handle act anti-clockwise, okay? In this direction. So the moment clockwise, okay? Which is the weight, of the sack and uh, barrel, okay? Multiply by the perpendicular distance, which is the 15 centimeter, equal the force act by the man, multiply by the perpendicular distance, okay? Which is 45 plus 15. So here we've said 15 plus 45, which is 60 centimeter. It doesn't matter to convert it into meter, so we keep it in centimeter. And this one supposed to be in centimeter. Both ends are in centimeter, it, it's okay. So force multiplied by 60, 60 F, okay? Equal 15 multiplied by the weight of the sack and the barrel, which is 200 Newton. So 200 Newton multiplied by 15 divided by 60, and the answer will be 50 Newton. So the answer is B. Assalamu alaikum.